The number one thing you wanna do in sales is you wanna connect. Connection is key. Connection allows for communication, conversations, and at the end of the day, conversions. In this video, you're gonna learn about the essential videos you need to be making for real estate sales growth. All right, the first kind of video we're gonna be looking at here is the calendar booking video. Whenever you make a sales video, what's the number one thing you want someone to do? Well, you want them to book a time in your calendar, right? So when you send this video out as an example, hi, this is Rob. Listen, when you have a moment, please click the button below to book a time in my calendar as I would love to talk to you more about your property and what we can do for you in terms of either selling or buying or whatever you're looking to do in terms of the end result there. But the most important thing is you want to have a calendar booking video made where someone has the ability to book a time with you. One of the biggest things in sales. The next kind of video we're gonna be looking at under the booking heading is the business card videos. Well, what is that? Well, I've got one right here. That is a QR code right there that you can put on your business card when someone can take their phone, take a picture of the QR code, and boom, it goes right to your booking page where they can what? Book a time in your calendar. So if you haven't gotten a chance to get your business cards with a QR code on it, get that done. because It is very easy and efficient for the other person on the other side, and that's what you want to make it. Easy and efficient for them and effective for you. The last kind of video under the booking videos heading is gonna be your open house video. So imagine you just did an open house, everyone had a wonderful time, they saw the property, everyone got along, there were referrals made, great conversations, a great time by everybody. What's the one thing that you need to do once that open house ends? You need to make a video and send that out to the attendees. And what you wanna say is, listen, thank you so much for attending the open house. I'm super excited to represent you with your property if you're looking to sell or buy, and I'm so happy you were able to spend some time at the property today with everyone else. The key is you've got to remember when you have an event, in particular an open house, you always want to send that video after to show your gratitude and to make that connection for people for future sales business. And what you can do with the open house as well is have a piece of paper on the tables right there when someone walks into the property and have a QR code on there. What they can do is they can scan that and immediately be able to get more information and also book a time in your calendar like we mentioned with the business card videos as well. So open house, have a QR code available and remember once they leave, send them that video expressing gratitude and furthering the relationships. The next types of videos you wanna send are your video messages. So what you're gonna do here is you can do mobile messages, you can do desktop messages, you can do screen recording messages. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your sales cycle in real estate, which is your prospecting, your follow-up and your nurturing and really lean into the power of video. We've done a number of videos here at Dub where we've talked about the power and connection that video can make. So in real estate, it's obviously all about the relationship. So you need to lean into creating the strength of that relationship with powerful videos. So when you're sending out your prospecting videos, make sure that you are keeping them sweet and to the point. Like the screenwriter David Mamet says, get in late, get out early. So when you're making these videos about the properties, personal connections to people that you know from referrals or a lead list that you've generated, make sure that you're sending these out, when, especially when you're prospecting, to make that initial connection because that will start the conversation. Lean into the power of video. And the great thing about video is once you start to communicate with someone, you've done a deal with them, well, What's the thing you always want to do in sales? You want to ask for a referral. One of the great ways to do that is send a video saying, hey, Bob, listen, I loved working with you. When you have a moment, send me a video back and let me know about some referrals of some people that you know that are possibly looking to sell their property or are looking to buy. Getting referrals has always been strong in sales, but it's never been easier using video. All right, so those are the personal one-to-one -one type videos that you should be making. The other types of videos you should be making are the one-to-many, the mass videos. So what you want to do is when you're sending an email, send a video. Don't don't send a text-based email, they'll get ignored, too long, didn't read, all that stuff that's just not effective. Send a video, send a nice, beautiful animated GIF showing your smiling face and the communication that you wanna make and the connection you wanna make with that person. But the key is, since you're sending one to many, you make a general statement like this for your video. Hey, this is Rob from RMB Real Estate. I just wanted to send you this quick video to say, I saw you're looking to sell your property and I'm super excited to talk to you about my experience and how I can help you move that property. Click the button below to book a time in my calendar. Looking forward to speaking with you soon. The key here is I never said the person's name. Now it can be sent to many of your contacts and you still have that sincere personal message about getting their property taken care of for them. All right, let's talk about SMS messaging. One to many. We all have our phones on us all the time. SMS is so important, so vital to really getting the message out there. When you send someone a personal text, that's great. It's one to one. Those are always effective. But when you've got to send out the one to many, again, like the email, keep it general and send it to them something along the lines of what I just said of, 
Hey, listen, this is Rob from R&B Real Estate. I'm super excited to talk to you about your property. Please book a time in my calendar below. And just imagine, they have their phone, they see a beautiful animated GIF with your smiling face looking to connect. And they don't know that you're not speaking just to them, you're speaking to many people, but they'll get the feeling of you're speaking just to them. Get in the habit of doing one to many. The next kinds of videos you're gonna to wanna to make are social proof videos. We've done so many videos here at Dub about the power of social proof, because what do you always say? It's not what we say, it's what they say. So if you have clients that are really happy with either the properties that you've helped them sell or buy, or maybe both, get that powerful social proof. That will help you with your next client. Now, there are a number of ways to get social proof. One of the first ways is testimonials. Get that statement from someone that really makes a difference, where someone sings your praises and you can get that video of them talking about how happy they were to work with you. What's another way to get social proof? Ask for reviews. Reviews are so powerful in the world today. We don't do anything without checking reviews first. Well, real estate services shouldn't be any different. So when you have a testimonial from someone, before you leave, ask for them to leave a review. And one of the easiest things we can recommend is sending them a video, asking them to leave a review and having the ability for that person to then click a button to leave a review for you. You wanna make it easy and efficient as always, but get them to leave a review. The last part of social proof is the case study. Case studies are a little more detailed than the testimonial part. You're getting a little more in depth. You're asking very specific revenue generating and convincing questions if someone's gonna watch the case study. As an example, how did R&B Real Estate help you sell your property? What was it like before and after the experience? So you wanna ask specific questions for the client where they can give you these sound bites that are so powerful for you to use in your social media platform or on your website or on your showcase page. The key here is let them say what you've done for them. Don't say it yourself, let them say it. And you wanna use video to get your testimonials, enable them to leave the reviews. And lastly, get those case studies. It tells a journey and people connect the journeys. The last kind of videos we're going to discuss are the social media videos. First off is gonna be YouTube. YouTube is an amazing engine. We've all looked up all different kinds of videos for tutorials, information on different topics, but real estate specific videos, you wanna lean into your YouTube channel. If you don't have a YouTube channel, we highly recommend getting one. Get that information out there, grow your channel. The other kinds of videos you wanna be making are the social media videos. Now, this is where we're talking about YouTube shorts, we're talking about Instagram Reels, and we're talking about TikTok. So these videos are in the vertical format. And these are very powerful. People now more than ever just don't have the time. So you really wanna be efficient with your messaging. Typically with these videos in the vertical format with YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or TikTok, they're under a minute usually. You can do shorter than that, you can do a little bit longer than that. We found here at Dub a minute works pretty well. So you wanna get right into your messaging and get right out, but have something interesting to say. But the key is people are looking at social media to get their information so they can make a buying decision. Every time they watch a video on YouTube, whether it's a regular format on YouTube or a vertical format on YouTube Shorts or the other options of Instagram or TikTok, they're looking for information. So be that real estate person that leans into the tools that are out there. Use social media, get the messaging out there, give them a market update, give them information on property, give them some cool quirks about maybe a property that they know nothing about. Really lean into your creativity, but lean into using the platforms that are out there that people regularly visit to get your messages across. Another effective technique is on social media, you can use pinned comments or pinned stories where you can have success stories of people that you've worked with right there already pinned on the social media platform page where you can make your video and then refer to them there. Or if you don't refer to them in that actual video, the pinned stories and comments will be there on that page for someone to reference in terms of really seeing the success stories. But the key is, try to reference them as much as you can. If you're making a social media video and there's something really cool in the pinned comments, reference it. See, listen, thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the pinned comments below where there's a testimonial that I think you're really gonna enjoy and you're really gonna see the value in what we do here. Something along those lines. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're starting to enjoy the content of this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment. We promise to answer all the comments that are on there. This is what we do. We enjoy it. We want to get this information out to you. So again, if you are in real estate, these are the essential video types you need to be making. Lean into the power of video, but make sure that you're making the right kinds of videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. We look forward to seeing you at the next one. The next kind of video you want, the oh, next. <laughs> All right, this is a test video, test video, test, 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 test.